Alright, so this is my quick team that I use for PvP and OPTC, aka Pirate Festival. As you can see at the bottom left, I have uh, 40 wins in a row. Uh, that's my current rank. I jammed about four times, maybe five, uh, because I was afraid it might go low. I was experimenting with some defense teams, but this new team that I, I was like... No one's really talking about the second version of Bangman. They're always concerned about the first one. I found something very interesting about the the, the Big Mom V2. I'm thinking to myself here, why is Big Mom V1 so good and Big Mom V2 so not, not really used much? And then I saw something rather interesting. Um, in this mode, more more than anything else really, uh, just like in other games similar to this, it's all about your passives. Uh, you have your your passive and your special. If um, normal characters don't have a passive or special, they're, they're not really used for the mode. They're just used for, like, for cost points. It's mainly about your passive. That's why you get five levels of that one only, and you get ten of the other one. So they know that the passives are really good, so they give you a limited amount of them. So it's all about your passives. Big Mom V2 is like a double-edged sword kind of thing. However, it works really well with this team. What happens here is this. Okay, so essentially... <clears throat> there we go. Uh, okay. Everyone's attack at the beginning of the battle well, for for this particular thing. Um, okay, there we go. Everyone's attack at the beginning of the battle. Period. No timer. Everyone's attack at the beginning. Their attack stacks by five. Everyone's health is also up by two. However, everyone's defense is also down by two. So, it's give and take. This team is meant to destroy quickly and take a hit. And here's why. Because of these two characters' special abilities. When this character's health is below 30%, everyone's attack goes up, well, at this current level, by 6 However, if this character's health is below 30%, this character's attack also goes up by 8. So, it stacks on stacks on stacks. Uh, also, this character... Even though I have cerebral units, he's a cerebral unit. Uh, this character, for the passive, his attack already goes up by 3 naturally. If this character's health goes down by 60% or less, increase his own attack power by 9. It always stays 9 all the way to the end. It's always by 9. So, he, already, he gives himself a nice big fat boost in the beginning. And if his health goes low, which happens automatically because of a special, after two of these, or in a couple of hits or whatever, he will go down into basically half health and do a crap ton of damage. Cracker on the end over it. Cracker. This guy's passive is for slasher and powerhouse characters. My entire team is slasher or powerhouse. Their special timer the AK, the CT, the cooldown, if you will, there it quickens by the number you see in the screen. So it goes up by four out of five. So it speeds up by five. So when the, when I show you the team, you're gonna see the special timer go up really, really fast compared to the other person's team. His special really is. You see all those words over there. It's not nearly as important as the, the passive ability. It speeds, it speeds up the timer, and that's the main thing he does. That's the main thing he's there for. To make, make it so the character specials goes up faster, so they can do damage a lot quicker and get their stuff in. The quicker you can do your specials, the quicker you do like a lot of AoE damage to your opponent. 
His special build, in case you're wondering, is in a mid-range. He does about 1x his attack. In addition, sl slasher powerhouse characters, their critical chance goes up by level 1. You know, so... Uh, in addition, if his, if his health is 50% or less, um, his own special cooldown goes up by 25% faster. I think 25% just period. It goes up, goes up 25%. So he gets like a nice chunk back. Most of you know what Snake Man already does here. And I'll show you this match right here. And I'll pick the one of the strongest teams in the game uh, to fight against. This uh, Straw Hat team. And watch how my team, uh, look how fast the timer goes, and this match should end before the, the clock at the, the top hits 60 seconds. That's how good this team is. So I'm going to hit the blue button over here, show you, show you their speed up, and show you my, my speed up of, for my CD, AK Specials. Battle begins, here we go. Some of them are faster than others because of their natural ability. As you can see, Whitebeard goes first, taking away 40% chunk. And then she she comes in there, does minuscule damage, doesn't really matter. This guy comes in there, does a grip to a ton of the enemies, takes out five people at once. <laughs> That's how it goes. The average is about four with this guy. The average is about four, but five is like a miracle. It's like happy birthday. Someone got lucky over there, but and lowered my made it so I can't use specials for a few turns. In addition to sixty, well, okay, there you go, six seconds. If they didn't knock away my special, it would have been it would have been over right there. Like they, they get it's a random chance that uh, my special will, will get locked by the enemy. As you can see there, it's a tank. It it always wins that fast. It always wins that fast. And if you notice, my health didn't really go down that much. And I'll show you that against the other second place version of, um, of the, the other team that people use to test their teams out. I wonder what other teams they can use for this mode to make it harder. Ooh. Like Wano teams. They already got the freaking, the, the teams that are after the freaking big pirate battle. So they have like health up for one person. Okay, hold up. Okay, health up, health up uh, six points, and then attack only two. As you can see, my team starts out with ten stacked of attack. Same thing goes here. The clock shouldn't go past sixty, especially on this team where they don't do any special countering. Uh, Whitebeard should be coming up uh, any second now. Big Bums goes first. That's cool. When she when she goes, uh, she makes everyone's um, attack go up by one, and that includes him. He'll do more damage. He did damage to himself. Look at look at the attack power on him. It's by twenty, and that's all his base attacks or whatever all go up there by twenty. Um, I believe he like slows you down or whatever, but that doesn't matter because you're already dead. <laughs> There you go. That's my team for for PvP. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Clack off.